It's been a number of months since I filmed the last episode of Kent's Garage, and during that time I've received quite a few emails and a number of private messages asking when am I going to continue the series. Well, I have to report today, in all honesty, I won't be able to continue the series as I originally filmed it, primarily due to the lack of financial support from the viewers. You know, it costs quite a bit of money to film these 25 to 30 minute long videos, but I do know that a number of you are still interested in what's going on around the shop here, so I'm going to have to shorten them quite a bit. They're going to be more like three to five minute videos, and I'm just going to report from time to time what's going on around the shop here. I can't work on cars all the time, and some of you know that uh, the business I run can be pretty hectic. And today, guess what I'm working on today? This tool right here. I'm going to be spending most of the day refining production of what I call the snake wrench because suddenly this is a very popular wrench. Let me explain this in more detail. I want you to take a look at what I'm working on in the shop today. You're probably looking at these funny looking wrenches and thought, oh no, Kent's making tools again. Yep, that's true. This is called a snake wrench. And if you haven't seen previous videos on this wrench, it's specifically designed to help you adjust the injection pump timing on your older Mercedes diesel engine. This angle is designed to get into some really tight places. And look how we had to bend every single one of these and try to keep consistency. That's not one easy task. You can see we start out with a very high quality, long 13 millimeter wrench, and then we have to use oxyacetylene gas torches to bend these in a jig. So they come out looking like this. Believe it or not, those angles are critical to help you get underneath the injection pump, get on those nuts on the flange, and also to get on that rear bolt that holds that brace on the backside of the injection pump. We have one more modification to make today. We have to come in and grind the edge off here because we got a clearance problem on that back bolt on that brace. If any of you have tried to loosen up the nuts on the front flange or the bolt on that rear brace on a 617 turbo diesel engine, you're going to understand why I had to come up with this wrench. And when I did this wrench, I knew it was going to be popular, but I didn't think it was going to be this popular. Now I have to make more wrenches today. Look at that. It's never going to end.